hello everyone welcome back to the channel i hope everyone is doing well today so in this tutorial we'll talk about implement new morphism interface design into our swift ui app so you'll get to know the biggest trend in user interface design in 2020 and how you can use it for your swift ui apps okay so basically what is new morphism New morphism follows a minimalistic approach as well, but while flat designed elements are floating on a perceived background by casting a simple shadow onto it, neomorphic elements seem to be stamped out from the background. This creates a smooth 3D look. Okay, so how can we achieve this new morphism effect in Swift UI? First of all, the element itself needs to have the same color as its background. Note that either the background nor the element should be purely white or black, okay? So next, you need to cast a light shadow from the top left onto it, okay, here. Finally, you cast a dark shadow from the bottom right onto it, okay? So first of all, we are going to create our project Fire up Xcode, okay, create a new Xcode project, select single view app, okay, click on next, here you are going to give it a name, so we can call it new uh, morphism demo, okay, select Swift UI as the user interface, and press on next and save it on your Mac. Okay, so the first thing to do is to create the color sets. So in order to do that, we're going to go into assets.xe assets, new color set, just like that, okay? One for the background element and one for the light shadow and one for the dark shadow, okay? So here for the first one, we're going to enter the code here directly, okay? So it's gonna be D E E A F6, okay? Then press enter, okay? Then we have to create another set, as said before, for dark mode. So here we are going to select dark, any dark, and here we're going to give it the other code which is 1A1B1E okay just like that and now we have to do that twice again but we can change the name so here it's going to be background just like that okay then i'm going to create another color set okay so here uh, select any dark so here the first element will be f3 f9 double f press enter okay and here it's going to be 242 529 okay and press enter and finally the last one so here it's gonna be light shadow okay just like that okay and the last one so here dark shadow here we're going to select any dark okay so here the first code is B E C B B E C B D eight. Okay, press enter. And here finally is going to be fifteen, fifteen, eighteen. Okay, press enter. Okay, cool. Now we are good to go. When we are finished with creating all three color sets, move on to creating the neomorphic Swift UI views. Okay. So in our Swift UI content view, we're going to start creating the colored background by creating a rectangle that covers the whole screen. Okay, 
So here we can call a Z stack. Okay. Then create a rectangle. Here fill. So the first color is background. Okay. Then the frame is max width will be infinity okay and max and max height will be infinity as well okay and finally edges ignoring safe area all cool so if i press on resume let's see what we get okay cool then create your element Then create your element, which is a rounded rectangle with a corner radius of 20. We're going to fill it with a color, which is background as well. Okay, and finally give it a frame, 300 by 180, okay? Cool. Finally, we apply the light and the dark shadows by using the shadow modifier with different colors and offset positions. Okay, so here, shadow, this one. Okay, so the first color will be light shadow. Okay, let me change the names actually. Okay, and here here radius eight x minus eight and here minus eight as well. Okay, so we can simply copy paste this line again change this name by dark shadow and here just simply delete the minus and that's it this is how your swift ui view should look now okay and if you want to see the dark mode you just have to insert this line which is environment okay color scheme and here simply write dark okay and you have the dark mode effect okay guys so that's all you can apply this technique used in this video to basically every element in your swift ui apps to create that neomorphic look okay i hope you enjoyed this tutorial see you in the next lesson guys Bye bye